Small pupils can be defined as all cases with less than 6 mm pupillary dilation termed as small pupils or non-dilating pupil. Main causes of the small pupil are as follows. Pseudo-exfoliation syndrome, floppy iris syndrome, white cataracts, previous uveitis and long-term use of the myotic drops. On the basis of the elasticity, the small pupils can be broadly divided into two groups. 1. Elastic pupil which can be stretched by pupil expanding devices easily. 2. Rigid pupil or fiberotic pupil, which cannot be stretched pupil expanding devices. In this case pupil size is about 5 mm, so capsular hexis is attempted under pupillary margins. Capsular hexis successfully done, if not then we would have converted into the can opener capsulotomy. After hydro dissection nucleus is rotated and taken out and the anterior chamber by Sensky's hook. 2-3 relaxing incision may be given at capsular hexis margins, if nucleus is anticipated large. Nucleus is managed by 6 mm intratunnel facal fracture manual small incision cataract surgery. Any other nucleus management technique of the MZIX may be used as per operating surgeon's choice. Cotical matter cleaned by some co-irrigation aspiration cannula carefully. PMMAI oil is implanted. In this case pupil size is about 4 mm, so capsular hexis is attempted under pupillary margins. Capsular hexis successfully done. If not then we would have converted into the can opener capsulotomy. Nucleus size is anticipated large so multiple relaxing incision are given at capsular hexis margins. After hydro dissection nucleus is rotated and taken out and the anterior chamber. Nucleus is managed by 6 mm intratunnel facal fracture manual small incision cataract surgery. Any other nucleus management technique of the MZIX may be used as per operating surgeon's choice. As you can appreciate iris is floppy in this case, so pupil further constricted to about 2 mm in size. 6 mm PMMA is implanted before completely cortical matter cleanup. Under IOL scaffolding, cortical matter cleanup is done by some co-irrigation aspiration cannula carefully. This is a white Morganian cataract with calcified and fibrous lens capsule with poor zonular support. The pupil size is about 4 mm. Capsular hexis is risky in such situation. Chances of the zonular dialysis are more. So opted for safer can open your capsulotomy. Multiple punctured 4 mm can open your capsulotomy is done. After initial punctures milky liquefied cortical matter came out into the anterior chamber and flushed outside by injecting viscoelastics. Small nucleus is taken out by the vectus. 6 mm PMMA iol is implanted. This is a post-chronic uveitis complicated cataract. The pupil size is about 1 mm. This is also a very rigid pupil. Pupillary stretching was attempted but could not successful as there are massive iritocapsular adhesions are present. So multiple small sphincterotomies are done in the inferior half of the pupillary margin. Lens capsule is stained with trypan blue. Multiple punctured can open your capsulotomy is done. After hydro dissection nucleus is rotated and taken out and the anterior chamber by Sensky's hook. The lens nucleus is taken out by vectus. The cortical matter is flushed out by injecting fluent jet into the anterior chamber along with depressing posterior lip of the tunnel simultaneously by irrigating cannula. 6 mm PMMA iol is implanted. This is a post trabculectomy complicated cataract. The pupil size is about 2 mm. This is also a rigid pupil. Lens capsule is stained with tripan blue. Multiple punctured can open your capsulotomy is done. 
after hydro dissection nucleus is rotated and taken out in the anterior chamber by Sensky's hook. Nucleus is managed by 6 mm temporal intratunnel facal fracture manual small incision cataract surgery. Any other nucleus management technique of the MZIX may be used as per operating surgeon's choice. Cotical matter cleaned by some co-irrigation aspiration cannula carefully. PMMAI oil is implanted. This is a 1 mm elastic pupil. So pupil is stretched by two lens hooks. An interior chamber is formed by hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose viscoelastics. Other cohesive viscoelastics may be also used to give an extra viscodilatation of the pupil. Capsular hexis is made by 26 G cystitum from right hand side port and while simultaneously pupillary margin kept stretched away by Y shaped lens dialer enter through left side port. About 5 mm capsular hexis is made. In this case is competed successful by clear corneal faco emulsification with foldabriliol. Conclusions so all types and sizes of small pupils can safely managed by manual techniques like Manual small incision cataract surgery Capsular hexis under pupillary margin Can open your capsulotomy Sphinctrotomy Stretching pupil aplasty